My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. Thank you so much. Well, my name is Gerardo Macias in Monterrey, Mexico. Uh, awesome. I, I lead the headhunting division for Provenza, a Mexican HR company with operations all over the world. Awesome. So let's dive into it. I want to talk about success principles. Where do you see entrepreneurs going for the next maybe two to three years down the line? What are some of the tips that you think we can use? Doesn't matter if they're in Mexico, doesn't matter if in US, Canada, doesn't matter with that. I think success principles are the same. But I'm pretty sure that you see things that are happening there that we might not know locally. What are some of the tips that you think we should utilize? Well, what has worked for us uh, before and during this crisis is always uh, collaboration, even with, uh, uh, with competitors in, in the same market. Uh, that's what has helped us a lot to grow, to learn and to do business. Uh, currently, we are creating a lot of alliances with other HR firms or headhunting firms to take projects. And um, in Europe, for example, we have our own office, but uh, it's also uh, all about collaboration and uh, also uh, giving added value services to our clients and possible clients. I mean, it's, it's not only about selling, it's uh, about helping each other. That's what has helped us a lot. How do you go about collaborating with other people? What are some of the methods that you recommend? Well, uh, we always, we have a very specific project, uh, process, I'm sorry, to evaluate uh, providers. So what, what we always seek is the best quality in service, um, and if these possible collaborators have uh, good clients currently, and you know if if they have uh, a, a good brand out there as we do, so that's that's what we look for, and we contact them directly. I mean, if I see an interesting company or service provider, I just call them and start the conversation yeah that is hardcore hardcore business like i call you direct yeah You're gonna get I, the show or, rolling. I love it instagram or facebook i mean it doesn't matter yeah that's the way you just go direct so here's my question as someone that is responsible for other people and what you do how do you go about self-development yourself is reading better for you audio how do you get your content for you to stay relevant uh, for me, it's a lot uh, uh, about doing phone calls with my colleagues, with my clients. First, to uh, in, in, during this crisis, uh, listen to them. Um, also, get their advice. I mean, each day is quite difficult for each of us right now. So it's all about listening. Um, and I use a lot social media, especially Instagram and LinkedIn to read content or watch videos that are positive, all about business, sales. I don't really invest my time uh, about, you know, videos about the virus or anything like that. I mean, I don't care about that right now. We, we do care about um, collaborating, doing business and being better each day. It's all about reinvention right now i agree with that 100% i don't use any of my time for non productive content i'm very protective of this what goes yeah. inside now even though as as much as i protect it sometimes garbage gets in i mean it's just the way it is right but i try to stay away now here's my question i know there's not that many like do you recommend for entrepreneurs right now switch industries or should they stay in what they're doing and improve on that? Because it's a confusing time. A lot of people want to change. They're like, oh, this is not working or this is bad. Let me go do something else. Is that your opinion? Well, 
uh, I think it's related to your purpose in life. Uh, these, these challenging times uh, are good because uh, you can define your real purpose in life. So it could be about changing your industry or even or adapting a little bit. I mean, I know of a, a couple of examples like a pizza restaurant that started doing face masks, you know, because they didn't have business. And maybe at the end, they're going to go back to the pizza business or they're going to have both businesses. It's all about um, analyzing what's your purpose. And if you are in HR and it's not your purpose, well, then you have to switch even industries. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Um, what we believe in in Prodenza, it's reinventing yourself like each day, uh, especially right now. So I agree with that 100%. Yeah, I mean, in my case, uh, it's all about reinventing my process, my sales approach. Uh, like I mentioned before, it's not about selling right now. It's about helping. And uh, especially my, of course. Yeah. What is your favorite self-help book? Who's your favorite author? What do you read? Well, I, I do read a lot of books. Um, right, right now, um, I, and I, I think I had it around here. Let me tell you, I'm reading, I started a book called Happiness. Uh, it's not a new book. And I can tell you in a few minutes the, the name of the author. Um, it's all about self-help related to business and to purpose. Again, I think that's what, what we need right now. Uh, a lot of introspection and learning about yourself and uh, helping your, your community. Yeah, I agree with that a, a lot because I think during this crisis, I'm looking it up right now too, um, during this crisis, I think what ends up happening is as, as a business owner, we should be helping our existing clients and our future clients, adding more value. I do agree with you, but adding value has a different definition. A lot of people think just because they're giving things away for free, they're adding value. Uh -huh. Just giving it away for free doesn't necessarily mean you're giving value. You got to find out what uh, the consumers, why, you know, I don't look at them as consumers. I look at them as your extended, you know, acquaintances and friends and extended family because these clients are going to come back and forth, you know, many, many, many times. So you want to build that relationship. I think right now people should value relationship a lot more than just the sales. But I know sales are necessary for the company to survive or else if there is no money coming in, there's so, so many months that you could stay in business and, pay your payroll and all that. So you kind of can't survive if there's no sales, but that shouldn't be your main purpose. So I agree with that 100%. Yeah. Did you get the name of the author? Yeah, look, I have the picture right here uh, because I posted it on LinkedIn a few days ago. It's Happier. Happier, got it. Yeah, it's a really good book about happiness, basically, uh, related to your purpose in life as love. a business person. So it's, I, I really- I love like it. the title. I like the title. The title is good, Happier. So yeah. you go for, it's not be happy, it's be happier. Listen, I wanna thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning. Hopefully we can do a lot more because I know you speak Spanish and we gotta, we gotta get that going. So you okay. and I are gonna be in communication. We're gonna do a few more videos. I appreciate Definitely. you taking the time. Thank you so much and take care. You got to talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.